What's going on, guys? It's your boy Triple G back with War and Order again. Today, guys, we are going to discuss how to make your troops stronger. So just a brief overview, some of the basic components of the game, if you are new to the game, is there are five things that consist of your military might, strength, your your oomph behind your, your troops, okay? The first and most obvious one is definitely going to be the barracks. The higher that you go inside of your barracks, the more you unlock. So these different tiers of troops from the T6 to T7, T8, T9, T10, so forth and so on, these different tier troops unlock as the barracks level goes up. And of course, they're going to be stronger, right? Because the higher the tier, the stronger they're going to be. However, that is just their base stat, their base power. So what else can we do? Well, in the original game mechanics, you had things like your research from your college. And you could go into the military tech and you could specifically look up the items that you wanted to upgrade, whatever your march is, infantry, archers, cavalry, mage, whatever it is, you can sit there and upgrade it and they can become stronger. And honestly, if you look at some of these things, it gets up here pretty high, you know, in the percentage levels. And so you continually want to increase not only your base stat, but also the percentage of increase as well. 10% attack, 15% attack, 10% HP, so forth and so on. The next item, the third item, is definitely going to be the gear in which you get. This gear, crafted by materials has different levels as well. And this comes from forging. So you have your forging building right here. And for every one of them, you can go from one all the way up to 40. And depending on the level of your forging base uh, is going to dictate whether or not you can keep on going up as well as your Lord level at two. So you need to understand that the higher you get up, the better the benefits. So like you can see right here on level 30, it takes quite a bit of material but when you're up here in the purples and even the oranges, look at this. So white is the easiest to get, only giving me 7.6. Green, 9.6. Blue, 12. 15 on purple and 19 on orange. These are the crafting colors for the increase. And of course, orange is extremely hard to get. The blue, pretty common. The purple is orange always a good bet so with this being said you increase a lot of things so like let's take for example this one i have a purple it's a level 25 because my castle is a level 26 right now it's not up to 30 right so right now i'm gaining 12.8 percent on infantry attack archer attack i'm raising my wounded capacity i'm speeding up my recruitment and then on top of that i can i can go for a special stat using uh, items out of the shop and I can get an additional damage increase against archers of 9%. That is only at 25 and above. So your early levels, you can't really do that. But level 25 and above, you can attach that special stat. So think about this. Now we have our base you know, T8s or T9s that we've unlocked. We got military going. Now we got really good um, gear on our Lord, what else can we do? Well, the Lord's skills. Guys, you need to increase your Lord's skills and work down this war tech because, I mean, look at this. You can get on the bottom here, you can get quite a bit. I mean, look, I got 20% infantry attack in this one. It, HP, 20%, and then it keeps on going. Look at this. Now I can get 20% on archer attack. And then eventually SOS and all kinds of stuff. So this definitely will make your troops stronger. However, these are all basic items in the game. They've been around forever, right? So the next thing is emblems. Your emblems are definitely going to bring even more to the table. And you can upgrade them. So you can see I need three more of these emblems. But then I even have the material to craft it. When I hit upgrade, it's going to go up to 3%, 3%, 1.5%. And it's going to keep on progressing up the ranks on the levels 
for your emblems. And that's going to bring additional. So not only your emblems and your, your gear that you're putting on your Lord, you know what I mean? But now in the game, additional to that, and we'll dive in more, meaning deeper into these specifically, you have the Titans that you can do where I can pick the Titan that I want and then I can upgrade its skill right here. Look at these. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but shoot, 2.5% each time kind of adds up after a while, right? And then you craft it and you make it bigger like this, right? And you have all these different items and look down here on this stat just for this. So I got 2%, 1.7%, and it just keeps on building, okay, guys? So you definitely, those are newer items to the game. I mean, not extremely new, but newer items. And then you have things like this. You have your altar, and it has amazing things in it. This is probably one of the most pronounced things, because not only can you have artifacts that bring tremendous amounts. Look at this, attack boost, 10%. And this is... This isn't even the best. This isn't even a red item or anything like that. But look, HP boost, it's 7.8%. You know what I mean? And these items correlate with the stars. So when you go into these different star items and you upgrade them, you not only can evolve them into higher tiers, but they also bring percentages of increase. So the name of the game is to get up as high as possible. And you ask me, Triple G, how do I know what mine are? Go to your Lord. Go to check details. This right here is going to show you everything percentage-wise that you have for your castle right now. Everything from your production to any boost that you have to any additional items like I have inside of the stars and weapons and stuff like that to your base statistics for percentage increase. So I could have a high tier infantry. But if I do not have high percentages here, then they're going to be weak, guys. So we want to know exactly how to increase. So once again, the basic items are going to be the tier of the, the barracks. That's number one. Then the military tech in your college. Then you want to try to get the materials crafted really strong. Don't forget your emblems. Those are super important. Then grind away at your Lord XP so that you can get Lord skills. And then after you have these basic items, start working on your Titan and also your altar right here with some of your artifacts. Those are key things to increase in your strength for your units, guys. Appreciate it. Until next time, peace.